Good morning, crafting friends. This is Cheryl Ann with another video for you this morning. Um, I completed another Traveler's Style. Uh, it's the three ring mini binder. And I'm going to list it in my Etsy shop today. My Etsy shop is Deserts and Beyond. You know, we live in the desert, but we've traveled to places beyond the desert, so that's why I call it Deserts and Beyond. I'll also put the link in the comments, but people have said they don't always see the comments. Okay, so this one is really chunky. My last one had 114 pages. This one has 120. I just couldn't stop adding to her. And um, I found some really, really awesome images that I've added in here. So um, we'll go take a peek. So I did a collage on the front cover. Um, it has scrapbook paper, lace, a little ticket. I did um, fabric here on the spine. And then on the back, I found this awesome scrapbook paper with tickets. And then this one has a map and then there's lace. She also has um, the strap that helps to keep her closed. So this is the front inside cover. Again, it's a map of the world. I kind of like the way it looks old and vintagey. And it has um, the tickets on top. There's a little uh, scrapbook thing. It says, and the adventure begins. This definitely is a travel themed journal. I tried to put in some pockets. There's some plastic. Um, this is a little pocket where you could put things. I tried to, you know, my, my husband worked for Marriott and we traveled all over the West. And, you know, I love, this is a card. I love journals that have pockets because, you know, I collect things. I collect feathers and I collect plant samples. And here's one of those old vintage maps. Oh my gosh, I just, you know, I was a history, political science major, and I just love maps. So this one is full of maps. I hope you're into maps. Again, another pocket. So you can tuck things, because, you know, I, I, want, I want places to put my specimens. I we went to Arizona last summer. I ran around with my my own personal chunky journal, and I was busy collecting, you know, raven feathers and plants. And here's just a little, that's a little tuck. Anything I could get my hands on. I went to the ranger station, and I came back with over a dozen maps. They were all free, and I was talking to the ranger. I love this one. Look at that. That's neat paper. And she said, oh, yeah, they're, they're free. Take as many as you want. And I go, really? Because you don't know how many I can take. There's another interesting scrapbook paper. I tried to find interesting papers in here. That's just a little. I just wanted to sew that on. It's got some old stamps. It has lace and fabric. More stamps. I tried to put a few maps and things from places we had been. I don't know if you're interested in those places. If the, if not, you can take them out. The thing I like about these ring journals is you can add and subtract. Really, all you need is a paper punch, which is how I punched all the paper in here. I did it by hand. Here's another one of those interesting maps. I could look at map books all day. In fact, two of the books I took to the library, I think I'm going to order. This is from Arizona. Rim country up on the Mogollon Rim. Again, this one has time and clocks. Of course, you know, I had to get something with the desert. 
So this is a postcard of Palm Springs. That's the tram. You know, we've lived here over 40 years. I have never been on the tram. I have a thing about heights, so I'm not sure if I would barf on the way up, which is why I haven't gone on the tram. Again, more maps. Just I just love looking at maps. I could just sit and look at them in the library all day. Also has a cityscape. I don't want to just do all. This one has a little bit of lace. I tried to alternate lace and fabric. Look, and this is a Southwest design. I love this one. This one I got Michaels, I think. Just love that one. I just cut it like a triangle shape. Another one of the old vintage maps showing. I don't know what that's showing. I can't figure it out, and I should know better. Here's Arizona Highways. Sometimes their covers are just kind of interesting. So that's in there. There's scrapbook paper. I tried to alternate the kinds of paper. There's writing paper, there's maps, there's photographs. Again, the cityscape. Envelope. That one's attached, so it folds it. I kind of, I really like that kind. I have a lot of those in my personal journal. Another city. It's kind of forest. Palm tree. That was a leftover piece of scrap. Love this one with the bicycles. So cute. Another little... Another little pocket here. I'm one-handed, so. There's another vintage map. This was railroads in the eastern United States. My husband's mail line, they were all railroad men. I think he had a boat captain at some point. I can outdo him, though. I had an ancestor who was a Dutch pirate who was lost at sea in the Atlantic Ocean. He, however, has the Drake, the Drake line in one of his families. Of course, I can beat that. I had the captain of the Mora, which was the ship that William the Conqueror came over from France to conquer England. So my ancestor was the captain of the Mora. Another little pocket. Love that. Of course, his son was the captain of the ship that sank the heir to the British throne. And rather than face the king, he went down with his ship. That's my Stevens line. Again, there's another little, little tab. Just for putting things. Love this old map. Mmm, just scrumptious. Another little pocket tab. Love that one. I think I found that one at Hobby Lobby. I base these here in a minute. So the one on the front has the airplanes leaving. This has the airplanes coming back. Kind of thought that was neat. Another little envelope. Another vintage map. I made a little pocket there. Just a lot of different kinds of papers. Like I said, this one has at least 120 pages, and I didn't count the envelopes. So she's she's pretty chunky. And this one folds out. I like the little bird houses. Another envelope for putting things. And then the last page is just a, a writing one. And then this is the back inside cover with another map. So here she is in all her chunkiness and her glory. I really love this one. I had so much fun making her. Um, I'm not going to make another travel one right now because I have... I have a bird one and a botanical one that I'm I'm working on, but um, 
She will be in my Etsy store, Deserts and Beyond. And I will put her in there today. This is January 23rd. And I'll put the link below. So thank you for stopping by. Have a great day and happy crafting. I'll see you later.